to the other big story. Is your bread causing cancer? A report by the Center for Science and Environment is creating ripples across the food industry and, of course, the public at large. CSE claims to have tested 38 samples of bread in Delhi. The report concludes that 84% of the samples tested positive for potassium bromate and potassium iodate. Both these chemicals are banned in many countries and they're considered quite hazardous. CSE found these chemicals in pre-packaged breads, buns and pav. Not just that, these were also found in ready-to-eat pizzas and burgers. Two listed companies um, uh, were in the eye of the storm and they issued strong rebuttals to the report. Jubilee and Food Works said that their bread is not tested with, uh, treated with potassium bromate or iodate. Britannia also asserted that their bread is safe and compliant with all food safety rules. Speaking exclusively to CNBC TV 18, the CEO of the SFSSAI said there is no reason to panic. He also said that uh, no action has been initiated against any company so far when we were reviewing the list of 11,000 food additives and the discussion center around use of uh, potassium bromate after careful consideration it was decided that it should be removed from the list of permissible additives and that was done a couple of months ago and after that uh, we went in for some further consultation with uh, other stakeholders and a final view has been taken that it should be removed from the list of food additives. Okay. Now, when will you issue the notification prescribing that potassium bromate Hello. be removed, sir, from the list of additives? And also, what kind of transition period are we talking about? How much time will companies get to comply with your order? It may take, uh, you know, a week or two before the notification is finally issued. And uh, once the notification is issued, I uh, do not see that uh, the, the food businesses will require much transition time because there are alternatives that are available and they can immediately mm -hmm. start using it. Has there been any consultation between the FSSAI and the uh, industry stakeholders on the transition? As far as, uh, you know, affecting this ban is concerned, uh, we are in touch with the industry bodies and to figure out if they require any transition period at all. I understand that the FSSAI scientific panel uh, is continuing to look at the issue of whether or not potassium iodate should be banned or not. Where do things currently stand on that? We are gathering more evidence around it, whether or not we should ban it. And once we, are conf we have confirm, uh, confirmation around it, uh, final view will be taken by the authority. And with that